Hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. If you need any sort of grind, he will be the man for you. Domination, Spotlight Sims, My Team Unlimited, and even more. The link to his Twitter will be down below in the description. You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we are going to be going over the new season rewind players within NBA 2k21 my team not only the season rewind players we also are going to be talking about Nate Archibald and remember this is the final of the season rewind set so this is it. This is it for the season rewinds. Am I sad to see them coming to an end? I'm not, but they've been fine. Overall, outside of these original owner cards who always just struggle, the season rewind sets have been okay. So I'm going to be going over each and every one of these cards. Now, before I dive into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. Started off here with George Niang, six foot seven, six nine. Wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 44 out of the 16 on gold. 95 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 90 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 90 speed acceleration, 93 lateral quickness. No showtime on the card, which is kind of confusing considering it is a July 8th. Shooting wise, perfect. Playmake wise, pretty solid. And then defensively, decent enough for George Niang. The guy from Iowa State, yeah, you know, I'm from Iowa, he went to Iowa State, as you guys can see, tendency-wise, just fine, broke base on very quick, I don't mind that, shift dribble style, pro two, escape, pro two, tween, so there's a pro three move by the back, George Nia is going to be fine, is he going to be the best player in the game, no, but he has 60 base badges, and I'm a decent enough fan of the Pink Diamond Niang. Campaign up next. I'm glad to see we finally get a good campaign card. 6167 wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere. 48 out of favors, 5 on gold. 95 3 ball, 80 driving dunk, 98 speed ball, 90 ball, 98 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. No steady. It's kind of hoping they give him steady just because on current gen, the card's going to be worthless no matter what. Jump shot 2. That is his own release. So we'll see what Jump Shot 2 is like. I, I I can't sit here and say it's good. I can't sit here and say it's bad. Quick Dribble Style Pro 2, Size Escape Pro 3, Boom in the back. He just has the Jump Shot 2. So I'm not even concerned whether campaign's going to be good in this game or not. I'm more worried about what's that Jump Shot 2 look like because we could see that on future cards. After campaign, we're looking at Shake Milton here. Now I like what Shake Milton is about. 6 foot 5, 7 foot wingspan, odd spots from everywhere. 45 out of favor, 7 on gold. 96 3 ball, 80 driving dunk, 94 speed ball, 89 ball, handle 94 speed installation, 95 lateral quickness, no showtime, no steady, playmake wise, perfect defensively, very solid as well, tendency wise, very solid, jump shot 107, you guys know that I love that release, shift, drip, stop, pro, two sides, escape, pro, one, move, my back, I'm telling you guys this, everybody's gonna be mad or not hype, shake, build up, but I'm gonna hype him up, 6-5 with a 7 foot wingspan, that's incredible, that wingspan is absolutely elite. Is he going to be a top shooting guard, point guard in the game? No. Do I think he's better at point guard or shooting guard? Probably shooting guard. And quite honestly, if you're on current gen, if you apply Showtime, this card's going to be more than usable. Derek Favors up next. First, the original owners, and they gave him a 79 three ball. A 79 three ball. Combine that with the fact that his defensive stats are horrible and he can't handle the ball. And what are we doing looking at this Derek Favors card? I mean, the card is abysmal. The card is terrible, unusable in this game. I guess, you know, he's got shifty, but it's not going to matter because he has a 50 ball handle rating. Guys, if you use this Derek Favors, there's something special about you. That's all I can say. Cam Johnson up next, please, 2K. I'm not asking for Cam Johnson to be the best card in the game, but at least make him usable. 6'8", six 6'10", six wingspan. That's a, that's a decent start at the small forward position. 27 out of fame badges, 25 on gold. Hot spots from everywhere. 94 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 89 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 89 speed acceleration, 90 lateral quickness. Gold showtime, shooting wise, everything besides steady. Playmate wise, half and quick first step, gold and black one. Defensively is serviceable enough. Here's what I'm talking about. Cam Johnson is not the best card in the game, but he's solid. Jump shot 70, shifted dribble stop, pro two size of escapes, pro three movement back. He's solid. Is he an above average small four for today's system? game no but if you are a big cam johnson fan you can put him on the court and get away with it the problem with him is that he doesn't have any hall of fame defensive badges tyrese max you have next 6266 six, wingspan hot spots from everywhere outside of the right slot 29 out of famers 24 on gold 88 three ball 85 driving deck 92 speed ball 86 ball handle 92 speed 93 acceleration hall of fame showtime shooting wise pretty solid play wise solid Defensively, he's going to hold it down. Tendency-wise, decent enough. Jump shot, 84. Here's the thing. We're seeing a lot of these jump shots that are decently rare. That's a decent enough jump shot. Quick drip style, pro two, size escape, pro three, boom on the back. Tyrese Max is okay. Again, 
Not a card I recommend you using, but if you're a big Tyrese Maxi fan, big Blue Nation fan, you can use the card. Boyan Bogdanovich up next, six foot eight, six eleven wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. Forty seven Hall of Famers, ten on gold. Now, the one thing I like, I wish he had shooting guard eligibility. Six eight at the small four position still is not bad. Ninety six three ball, eighty five driving duck, ninety one speed ball, eighty six ball handle, ninety two speed acceleration, ninety four lateral quickness. Hall of Fame show, showtime shooting wise, literally perfect. Playmaker wise, perfect. Uh, and then defensively is very solid. Tendency wise, I like him. Jump shot 75 on very quick. I actually like that release. Shift your stop pro two size escape pro three move in the back. I'm telling you guys, this set so far is very solid. Is he gonna be the best shooting guard, small forward in the, not shooting guard, best small forward in the game? Probably not. But he's a card you can have out there, and you're not gonna notice him be a negative. And that's what I like about Bognatovich right there. Jay Crowder up next. I have high hopes for Jay Crowder. 6'6", six, 6'8", six, six, wingspan. That's the first kind of downside to the card. Hot spots from everywhere outside the three-point line. 47 out of favor, 7 on gold. 96 three-ball, 85 driving dunk. 92 two-ball, 86 ball handle. 93 speed acceleration, 97 lateral quickness. Not a great rebounder. Hall of Fame showtime. Shooting-wise, very elite. Playoff guys, solid and then defensively. Has everything you could want. Now, I would want box frame and worm, so I guess... He doesn't have everything you'd want, but he's pretty solid on the defensive end. James Harden base on very quick. It's an interesting release. We'll see what it's like on Jay Crowder. Does have the Vince upper, upper. shift your style pro two size of escape pro three move on the back. He's just another card, guys. If you're a big Jay Crowder fan, you use. In my video yesterday about the top five things that no money spent budget ballers should do, use cards you like, and Jay Crowder is another card that is usable within the game. Danny Green up next. 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, wingspan, hot spots from River, 47 out of famers, 2 on gold. Want to check out his release first. Jump shot 13, that's what I figured it would be. 98, 3 ball, 80, driving deck, 92, speed ball, 86 ball, hitter, 94, speed acceleration, 98, lateral quickness, Hall of Fame showtime. Shooting guys, everything besides steady, which I like a lot because I actually like jump shot 13 on current gen. Defensively, very solid. Problem is he's lacking a lot of badges. And when I say that, you know, shift your that pro two, size escape, pro three, movement in the back. He doesn't have a lot of gold badges, only two on gold. So like the, the badges, like the dimers, like the even rim protector. Those are badges you're going to have to look to give Danny Green. I don't mind the card. He's a great three in the option. He's just not one of the best in the game. Compare him to Jay Crowder. I don't know who's better. I'd probably say Danny Green has a slight edge, but they're, they're basically going to do the same thing. Tiny Archibald up next. What am I looking at, 2K? Why does he only have two hot spots? I'm not going to sit here and talk about the card if he has two hot spots. That's just something I'm not going to do. I'm not willing to do. I get it. He's got Hall of Fame blinders. He's 6'1. Doesn't have any hot spots. I, 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 what are we doing here? Why do we log in every day this week for this bum? Tiny Archibald, get off my screen. You stink. Last three cards are our dark matters for today. Started off with Spider Mitchell here. 6'1, 6'10, wingspan, hot spots for everywhere. They couldn't make a good Donovan Mitchell at this stage of 2K if they tried. 57 out of famous, 7 on gold. 97 3 ball, 98 driving duck, 98 speed ball, 97 ball, 98 speed acceleration, 97 or 98 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame showtime shooting wise does come with Hall of Fame blinders. Playmaker class solid, then defensively. He's going to be basically as good as he can. Jump shot for him very quick. Quick drip style, pro two, size escape, pro three, move by the back, as well as the pro eight tween. Because the Hall of Fame blinders, I mean, this is our first Donovan Mitchell on next gen that might be usable. I still don't think he's going to be much considering he's only six foot one and we know how small players are within the game. Still, I mean, if you're a big Utah Jazz fan, if you're a big Donovan Mitchell fan, or if you like the Louisville Cardinals, you can use Donovan Mitchell and have fun with the card. Just because he's not good in the game, doesn't mean you can't have fun with him. DeAndre Ayton up next. Now, I heard somebody today tell me DeAndre Ayton is a top three center in the game. Or not in the game, in, in real life. Like, I'm sorry, guys. DeAndre Ayton's been hooping, but let's not let's not overstep our boundaries here. 7 foot 1, 7 5 wingspan. Hot spots from everywhere. 50 out of famers, 1 on golden. 89 3 ball, 95 driving deck. 89 2 ball, 86 ball. Handled 94 speed and a 93 lateral quickness. This DeAndre Ayton, like, stat-wise, looks a lot like this one. Yes, his three ball is a little bit better, quite a bit better, but it's still not that much of a difference. Hall of Fame showtime, everything besides steady and sh the shooting uh, category. Play wise, literally perfect. Obviously, I'd want ankle breaker and then defensively very solid as well. Tendency wise, solid jump shot 112 on very quick. I'm not really sure about that release. I don't really remember what Aiden's release was like on his last card, considering he didn't have a great three ball. Shifted driven style, pro two sides of escape, as well as the pro two tween and the pro three move by the back. 
Aiton solid, okay? There's there's no questioning how solid, or there is a question on how solid he is considering this Aiton does have hot spots. Rare Rare has a decent enough three ball and a decent release. So we'll see obviously how DeAndre Aiton is compared to the Galaxy Opal. I have high hopes for the Dark Matter DeAndre Aiton though. Up next, last but certainly not least, we do see Tobias Harris, 6'9", 6 6'11", 6 wingspan, hot spots from everywhere outside the three-point line and in the mid-range area. 55 out of fame badges, 11 on gold, 97 three-ball, 90 driving nug, 92 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 93 speed acceleration, 93 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame showtime, shooting-wise, perfect, everything outside of steady, playmaker-wise, absolutely elite. Defensively, very solid as well. Tendency-wise, good for Toby Harris. Jump shot, 70 on very quick. Here's the thing, guys. Shiv Driver Style Pro 2 Size Escape Pro 8 Tween and the Pro 3 movement in the back. If you if you just want Tobias Harris, he's just a worse version of Jonathan Isaac. That's really the best way I can phrase it to you guys. I mean, yes, they're gonna do their own things, and maybe a, there's gonna be a slight difference. But it's just whoever you like more, right? Jonathan Isaac's the better overall card, but if you like Tobias Harris in real life, remember the game's all about having fun. So are any of these game cards really game breaking? No. But if you're not including the original owner cards, there's maybe one bad card, and that's Cameron Payne. Outside of that, Danny Green, usable, Jay Crowder, Bognatovich, Shake Milton, Kent, and, and George Nang are all usable. I wouldn't use Donovan Mitchell either. So how I'd rank these cards, DeAndre Ayton number one, Toby Harris number two. Honestly, in my three spot. I'd probably go with, with Bogdanovich, number four, Danny Green, number five, Jay Crowder. Six, I want to go with Shake Milton, seven, George Niang, eight, Cam Johnson, nine, I'm going to go Donovan Mitchell, ten, uh, I guess Nate Archibald, eleven, Cam Payne, uh, twelve, Tyrese Maxey, and last but not least, number thirteen, Derek Favors. That's how I would rank the cards that we did get today. Aiden's probably way the most intriguing card by far. He's the card I'm most intrigued that we did get today outside of that maybe danny green bogdanovich are the next two we know what harris is going to be like and spider mitchell is not going to be usable but that is going to wrap it up for the video today guys hope you guys did enjoy it drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day